Welcome to the first episode of Big Tractor Power News. This will be a new feature to our YouTube channel to give you a preview of some of the big machines that we've been filming throughout 2017. Big Tractor Power has been all over the country filming in western Kentucky, southern Indiana, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and western New York State. And we have hours and hours of footage of the biggest machines on the market and a whole bunch of classics. 2017 was a great year for Big Tractor Power in tracking down a lot of the big iron from the 1970s and 1980s and 1990s as well as the latest machines from 2017. So Big Tractor Power News will take you out in the field and show you many of these machines at work and the full feature videos that will be coming up on Big Tractor Power YouTube. We also get an opportunity to get short clips of different farm equipment that might not be enough for a full video and that way through Big Tractor Power News we can bring you those short clips and give you a little bit of farm equipment history. We'll also be sharing features over the winter of the big new 2018 equipment that is arriving at our local dealers here in Western Kentucky. So we hope that you'll enjoy Big Tractor Power News and sit back and relax and enjoy some features on many of the combines that we saw harvesting out in the field during the fall of 2017 in this episode. The 2017 harvest was a great year for Big Tractor Power to track down a lot of gleaner combines. 2018 will mark 95 years of Gleaner Combine production. Gleaner was the first self-propelled combine on the market back in 1923. And Big Tractor Power will be celebrating 95 years of Gleaner Combines with an upcoming video. We traveled all over to find some of the biggest, newest machines, like this 2017 Gleaner S97 in Champaign-Urbana, Illinois area. We traveled over to Willow Hill, Illinois to film this rare Gleaner A86 combine with this Alice Chalmers 4W305 four-wheel drive on a Kilbro's grain cart. The A-Series gleaners were a short-lived product. They are based on the axle-style rotor rather than the natural flow rotor that is found in most gleaners on the market today. We also found a lot of great classics. Here we can see a gleaner L3. It's a Deutz Alice model that was produced in the mid to late 1980s. And we also got to see running right beside it in the field here in western Kentucky, an Alice Chalmers M2 Gleaner Combine. So we've got a lot of great footage of some of the classic straw walker machines, a lot of the natural flow machines, and of course the biggest, newest S-Series Combines on the market. So stay tuned to Big Tractor Power YouTube for several features on Gleaner Combines. In addition to combines like the classic gleaners that you see here, Big Tractor Power tracked down a lot of other classic machines that are not commonly seen working out in the field anymore. One of my favorite finds of the year was this J.I. Case 960 combine from the late 1960s. The first piece of farm equipment that I ever rode in was a Case 1060 combine, and I've always had a soft spot for the case combines and they're pretty hard to find actually working out in the field anymore these days because they're over 50 years old and it was exciting to see this J.I. Case 960 combine harvesting corn in Rantoul, Illinois and Big Tractor Power will feature this combine and Case was celebrating 175 years of farm equipment production in 2017 and will be doing several features on 175 years of Case IH farm equipment history in upcoming Big Tractor Power videos. Another Case IH related product that we filmed this fall was this International Harvester 815 Combine harvesting corn in Western Kentucky. This is a 1977 model. It was one of the last Walker Combines produced by International Harvester before they completely switched over to the famous Axle Flow, which was also celebrating a 40th anniversary in 2017 so stay tuned for a lot of great footage of this international 815 with only 1200 original hours on it it was definitely a great classic find for big tractor power youtube exo flow rotary combines did celebrate a 40th anniversary in 2017 and our red power fans have been asking big tractor power to film some classic case international combines over the past few years and this year we tracked down a big 1680 axle flow combine and a 1640 axle flow combine. We also have footage of a model 1660 Case International axle flow combine and we'll put together a video 
sharing some history of the early Case International axle flow combines from the 1980s. For those that are interested in some larger Case IH combines, Big Tractor Power was out in the field with those this fall as well, including this big 9240 on tracks with an all-new Gearinghoff Draper head. So we'll be bringing you a full story on the Gearinghoff and 9240 combine. Another major combine anniversary that Big Tractor Power will be celebrating on its YouTube channel is 70 years of John Deere combine history. John Deere marked its 70th anniversary in 2017 and Big Tractor Power was able to film at least one John Deere combine from each decade of production from 1947 through 2017. One of the cooler combines we found this year was up in Willow Hill, Illinois. This John Deere 7700 turbo combine was very impressive to see harvesting beans and it was unloading on the go with a souped up John Deere 4840 tracker and it was just a great evening to spend out in the field with this classic combine and we're looking forward to bringing you 70 years of John Deere combines at work out in the field. Big Tractor Power is also working on some white farm equipment history with classic combine harvesters. Here we can see an Oliver 525 combine that with a 522 two-row corn head that Big Tractor Power filmed in Rantoul, Illinois, followed right behind with a big Oliver 7800 combine. The Oliver 7800 was the last combine produced in Oliver Colors back in 1974 before the company transitioned over to white farm equipment for all of its machinery offerings. The Oliver 7800 Combine was built in Branford, Ontario at the Cockshut Combine Factory. And Big Tractor Power will be doing some white farm equipment combine history in a future video. This combine is owned by Jake Ziegler and we already have a video up on Big Tractor Power YouTube featuring his 7800 harvesting corn. We'll also have some information on Minneapolis Moline farm equipment coming up. And this is a Minneapolis Moline 2890 combine, harvesting two rows of corn at a time in Rantoul, Illinois. And Minneapolis Moline is another part of the white farm equipment history that you just don't see out in the field very often. And we look forward to bringing you a feature on this 2890 model as well as several other Minneapolis Moline tractors. We headed over to Champaign, Illinois to film at Jake Ziegler's farm where he was running a white 9700 combine. This combine was built in 1980 and the white 9700 was one of the largest combines on the market back in the 1980s and it's a machine you just don't see in the field very much anymore. White sold its combine line to Massey Ferguson in 1985 and we'll be bringing you a feature of Jake Ziegler who is a fellow YouTuber. I would highly recommend checking out his channel to see the farming operations that he and his family have up in the Champaign area. And it was also really neat to see this WFE white farm equipment 2155 series 3 tractor unloading on the go with the white 9700 combine. It was definitely a great scene right out of the 1980s. In addition to white farm equipment combines, we'll be looking at another white farm equipment historical harvesting product, and that is the Uni system. The Uni that you see harvesting silage here in Wisconsin was built by Agco in the early 1990s, but we'll be going all the way back to the Uni system's original model, built by Minneapolis Moline in the late 1950s, and then the company transitioned over to New Idea, and then in the 1980s became part of white farm equipment, and then in the early 1990s became part of the Agco Corporation. So we'll have a very informative video on the history of the Uni system coming up on Big Tractor Power YouTube. This Wisconsin dairy farm also had some great looking white tractors uh, rolling along, moving the silage harvest with the Agco Uni system. We also traveled out to Iowa and near the Dyersville area to see this classic 1977 white 2155 moving the corn harvest along with a big new Kloss Lexian 750 TerraTrack Combine. Iowa was a great place to film classic farm equipment. On the same farm, we also got to see a rare yellow Minneapolis Moline A4T 1600 four-wheel drive tractor. Most of the Minneapolis Moline four-wheel drives were painted in Zumac red, so it was great to see an original yellow model, and we'll have a full feature on 
Minneapolis Moline A4T four-wheel drives. There was also some great filming for John Deere products on our trip out to Dyersville, Iowa, and that included this John Deere 6600 side hill combine. This will be part of 70 years of John Deere combine history and a full feature video on Big Tractor Power YouTube of how this specialized combine harvests slopes. We also got to see a very rare John Deere tractor out in Dyersville, Iowa, and that is the last serial number John Deere 4760 tractor. The 60 series tractors built in the early 1990s are among one of the great classic tractors built by John Deere and will be marking 100 years of John Deere tractor production in 2018. So watch for some videos on John Deere tractor history on Big Tractor Power as well. Big Tractor Power has filmed a lot of classic machines in 2017, but we're also looking forward to the new 2018 models that are just starting to arrive at local tractor dealers here in Western Kentucky. And one of those models is an all new 2018 model John Deere S790 combine that just arrived at Hudson Equipment in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. This class nine machine is the largest combine produced by John Deere currently. It features a 543 horsepower engine and a 400 bushel grain tank. Big Tractor Power is looking forward to getting out in the field and filming this John Deere S790 and other S700 series combines harvesting winter wheat here in western Kentucky in June of 2018. We did have an opportunity to film an all-new 2018 model John Deere S780, a Class 8 machine, during the corn harvest here in western Kentucky this fall. If you type in 2018 John Deere S780 Combine Big Tractor Power on the YouTube search, I'm sure you can find that video and see and hear that big combine harvesting corn. We also climbed up in the cab of the machine during the video. And we're looking forward to climbing up in the cab of this John Deere S790 next June to show you all the technology these machines have. They can self-adjust on the go to meet different harvest conditions across the field. We also saw another 2018 model across the road from Hudson Equipment at Wayne Supply, our local Agco Challenger dealer, and they had a brand new RG1100 series Rogator. All the 2018 model Rogators like this one have a special 25 years born to apply decal on the hood, celebrating 25 years of Rogator sprayers and applicators. This model is set up with a new liter dry spinner box. All the 2018 model RG1100C models and other C-series Rogators have an all new black hood on them. Again, we can look here at the new RG1100C decal on the roof and the new liter dry spinner box. This machine can apply dry fertilizer in standing corn and you can see Wayne Supply is just starting to set this machine up to head out to the field to a new customer and Big Tractor Power hopes to find this machine out in the fields in the spring of 2018 to film. I hope that you've enjoyed this first episode of Big Tractor Power News and our next episode Big Tractor Power will feature many of the big tillage tractors and machines that we have filmed throughout 2017. One machine that I was really excited to find was this Alice Chalmers 8550 that you see here disking with an Alice Chalmers 2500 series disc. I found this tractor up near Willow Hill, Illinois, and I actually got to drive it. So watch for a full feature video on this Alice Chalmers 8550 four-wheel drive. If you'd like to follow Big Tractor Power throughout the week, make sure to check us out on social media. We have a Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter. On Facebook, we share pictures and farm equipment history on a daily basis. And our Instagram account is a great place to follow Big Tractor Power to see what we're currently filming out in the field with pictures and short video clips. As always, thank you for watching Big Tractor Power YouTube.